one. As I um, ex as I promised to you, I um, I'm going to do a question where we would be using this z normal distribution to solve the problem. Uh, in this question, uh, the waiting time at a doctor's surgery is assumed to be normally distributed with a standard deviation of 3.8. Uh, they have given us the probability of uh, a time the waiting time that is more than 15 minutes uh, to be 0 0.4. 0446 so this is um, um, this is obviously that's the mean value that we don't know um, so the mean value um, here we don't know the mean value uh, but we know um, we know that the standard deviation is 3.8 so since the um, since the probability is uh, 0 0.446, there's a small probability, uh, and we are looking at more than 15 minutes. So I'm assuming that 15 minutes would be somewhere um, bigger than uh, the value of mean, and this air, this little area here, we assume that little area to be the probability of uh, of 0 0.0446. So, um, so we are going to use a, a normal distribution for this since we don't have the mean value. So let's uh, let's bring a picture of our normal distribution in. Um, so this is our normal distribution. Uh, we will go straight to um, let me stick this down. Um, go straight to um, the same area. So this is the same area. I'll stick to the color. Um, scheme so this is 0 0.0446 and I will be finding this z1 uh, of of the z distribution um, so so we're going to um, we're going to be using uh, the calculator here uh, I have used my tablet to see if I can actually show you my calculator uh, and I hope that you can see um, the screen well enough. So on the on, on these calculators, uh, let me turn the calculator around so you can see the uh, options better. Um, so on these calculators, um, you have um, an, an option for um, stats. So I'll be using uh, the option for stats. So when you go to stats, you get um, you get these um, this screen, uh, and we will be um, we will be using the um, the distribution. So that's the distribution there. Uh, I'll be using the distribution, and I would be using the normal distribution. So it's it's uh, it's the normal distribution. Is this one here? Um, so I use the normal distribution, which is this one here. So normal distribution, and then we use the inverse. So I've already typed the numbers in. Um, so you'll see that um, I'm going to use the um, right tail, uh, and um, the area is 0 0.0446. Um, sigma and, and uh, mu uh, are the fixed values. So if you um, if you press that, you get 1.6996. Um, I'm going to just round this for simplicity. I'm just going to round this to uh, uh, to 1.7. So through the conversion value, uh, the conversion formula, uh, we know that 15 here should be related to this value there, uh, and the conversion is 15 um, minus the mean. Um, value which we don't know uh, over the uh, the standard deviation which is 3.8 that's supposed to give me 1.7 yeah so this is a very simple equation to solve uh, I'm just going to solve this equation um, up here so basically 15 minus mu is equal to 3.8 times 1.7 uh, and that should be um, 3.8 times 1.7 um, 
So that gives you 6.46, um, 6.46, which is 15 minus mu. So mu would be 15 minus 6.46. Um, and that gives you 8.54. Mu is 8.54. It makes sense because um, if this is 15 uh, and it's only a small percentage, so 15 could be should be quite a, a bit away from uh, the mean, uh, and uh, so the mean is 8.8.54. 8 I'll do another question later on, um, and uh, I hope you could see could see the calculator well enough. Um, so it's um, basically in in these calculations we would be we would be always using uh, the distribution uh, and um, and so once you once you choose the distribution um, we would be going to normal uh, but depending on uh, on the type of question um, if you have the area then you would use the inverse to come back and get the z value. I'll see you in the next video.